the energy vibration um reading for the Aries Sun Moon and Rising I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, thank you for the wonderful support likes and shares and I want to say to each and every person out there please like share these videos listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign okay it is a wonderful week for you guys because it's the you um, you guys are vibrating in the energy vibration of the fire energy and with the energy vibration of the fire energy wonderful new things are coming up in your life and this is going to be good okay let's see um, how your week um, begins um, this week is from the 18th until the 24th on the 23rd is a good day if you're looking for relationships um, it will be here for you guys okay so the energy of the devil your energy vibration the 23rd Saturday the 23rd is going to be a very good day so let's look further and see what is happening for you because this um, week is a fire week we begin the week from Monday until Thursday with fire and we end the week from Thursday until Sunday with the heart sign so this is good for you Aries so let's move forward and let's look and see what is happening um, um, you have a water energy so on Monday you will be receiving information on Tuesday you have the energy of uh, someone between the ages of um, 25 and 45 a Taurus um, Virgo or Capricorn okay um, the crowning from your wake is the week of new beginnings because you have the energy of balance for you guys so this is an earth energy that is bringing balance for you guys okay and what is happening here is that you have conflicts with other people on Thursday and on Friday you have the the energy of yourself thus on Friday for the people between the ages of 25 and 45 this is a good time to move forward in your life on Saturday another wonderful energy you have the, the energy of the devil and on Sunday you have the energy of the six of ones which is victory and success this is a wonderful triumph news coming to you um, and so we're going to move forward and look and see what have all these energies uh, um, um, about and it is good because you have the um, the three of ones with the energy so you are getting information and you're deciding to leave a situation behind you so some of you could be deciding to leave work behind whatever is happening you have to for six um, seven so you are trying to balance out your financial situation a lot of people in this um, a week is trying to balance out their financial situation so not to worry it's going to be okay because this week is a week where everyone is trying to balance out their financial situation so this is good okay so let's look forward and see what is happening on Monday you have the energy of breakthroughs information that are coming to you some people are going to realize that they're going to be um, changing careers and that sort of a thing on Monday there's a lot of breakthroughs information that is coming through and um, you are aware that it is time for you to move on to something else and something different in your life and this is going to, uh, to be good the breakthroughs and information that are coming out is going to help you to affect you to move forward and we are going to try and find out what information is going to come out for you guys okay what information um, <laughs> What information is going to come out is that it's, it's going to be different for a lot of people it's going to be very different for a lot of people whatever is happening it has to do with uh, um, yeah the ending uh, to situation that has to do with a company so a lot of people are going to realize that their contracts is not going to be extended and that sort of a thing and you're going to be leaving this company behind because you have uh, the energy of a building and this has to do with a situation with an organization so this has to do with work for a lot of people some people are going to decide to move some people are going to uh, realize that their contract has ended and you are going to move forward but this is going to bring a new beginning for you because whatever that has ended with this group and organization is going to bring a new begin for you because the endings with the end energy of the cloud is uh, 
the sense of new beginnings are coming in okay so whatever situation you were vibrating in this is going to be handed and uh, um, a positive positive energy is about to come in for you guys so um, if you uh, um, get the message that your contract is not going to be renewed and that sort of a thing it's okay um, because uh, um, new things uh, long-lasting healing there's a lot of people that are going to receive healing from a situation and um, be be aware of infectious disease and that sort of a thing whatever is happening some people will be um, moving from your jobs leaving your jobs behind but for some people you're going to get message from a hospital uh, um, that you have an infect that you have that you're sick um yeah uh, long lasting healing is coming in for some people some people are going to have a, a message uh, beware of infectious disease so um yeah that, that this is what some people are going to find out maybe you haven't been feeling well lately and you realize that um you have uh, um pick up something and that sort of a thing so for some people it's going to be work and for some people it's going to be uh, something that you find out okay as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the Knight of Pentacles this is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and this person is coming in he's bringing in a lot of loving energies um, you have the energy of uh, the eight of cups some people will be moving away from this people or this person might be moving away from you because there is a leaving a leaving something behind okay so um, it could be that uh, for the women you have a relationship with someone who's a Taurus Capricorn or um, Taurus Capricorn or Virgo and you realize that you have picked up uh, uh, something from him or whatever that sickness or whatever is happening and you're moving away and leaving him behind and this is much better because if you pick up a sickness from someone then he wasn't um, good enough to tell you that he was sick this is just disgusting um, <laughs> and and um, for some people it could be that your boss is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the ages of 25 and 45 and you decide that you don't want to deal with this person anymore and this person is just friggin annoying and you're moving away from this person okay in the middle of the week you have a new start and this new start is going to bring you a lot of financial abundance you are going to have help coming in from someone over the ages of, between the ages of 40 and 65 and this person is going to help you to bring your financial um, situation in balance so this is a good 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 positive energy this is someone who is a Taurus or um, this is someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn as we move forward there is conflicts there is conflicts on Thursday and you have conflicts with someone from a past relationship it could be a family member it could be friends it could be someone who you have known for a while and let's see where is this conflicts coming from and who is this conflicts coming from okay um, let's see where is this conflicts coming from and who is this conflicts coming from um, news is coming um, from someone of the past and this is um, there seems to be a lot of things coming out in um, in this week especially on Thursday there's a lot of things negative energies that is coming out so you are having conflicts with someone from a past life situation it could be family members or it could be friends it could be um, people um, up at your work and that sort of a thing and whatever the situation is that is coming out news is coming to you about someone of the past or a relationship that you have and this is someone who is very powerful and it's as if they're trying to block you okay they're trying to block you so let's look further to see why is it and what I'm receiving is that someone of the past someone who you know of the past is trying to block you in whatever situations that you're doing let's say you're trying to find a work and you uh, work with someone uh, of, of the past and this person is trying to get involved in your life and trying to block you because of a situation that you have found out that has happened and that sort of a thing and this person so you're getting message from a powerful source it could be a mother figure or it could be an older person or that sort of a thing and they are trying to block you so you know um, it can 
work out in a different sort of a scenario because um, um, it, it, there are so many things that is happening actually in this week it's as if a lot of stuff is coming out on Thursday it's as if Thursday is the day where things are coming out where people are finding out a lot of stuff and um, you have a situation to do with a past life situation and you have a message coming in um, uh, uh, a message coming in but this message is moving slow and it's a contact with a man contact with an older man someone in power um, contact with an older man someone in power and let's see what this person wants because it says it, it, this person has a very strong personality someone who you've known it could be your father but it is it is it, it is, if you're having a situation with your father you're going to have contact with your father he's going to name contact up with you and you know whatever it is it's not going to be it you know it's somebody who is very stubborn is a boss who makes your life difficult okay it's a boss so on Thursday some of you are going to have contact with someone of the past and it is an ex boss who make your life uh, um, very um, um, and this do happen. This do happen. And I, I honestly, I, you know, I can't. I really can't understand that. You know, if you work somewhere and you move on and you don't want to deal with the people anymore and that sort of a thing, why would you want to make someone's life miserable? Because there is a sense that you move on. That means that you break the energy vibration. So there is a situation that is happening for you guys on Thursday that you have to deal with someone, a boss, and, and someone who you worked with or someone who you knew of a past situation and they're trying to block your life. And I'm thinking, how stupid can can you be why would you want to do that um, you don't have the power to block anyone's life so whatever you're doing and um, change your career change your career change whatever you were doing whoever that old boss is change your career because this person is definitely sick and needs help and trust me they are out there I've seen so many people who left so many companies and the boss tried to make a bad name for the person and they themselves is at fault and they themselves is not honest okay so just move away from that situation sick people um, we are going to go forward and we're looking at the energy on Friday you have the energy um, of the people who were born uh, um, ladies and gentlemen who were born um, and who were at the age of 25 between 25 and 45 and um, you have a situation to deal with uh, this knight of Pentacles whoever this knight of Pentacles is it could be that person your ex boss because it's obviously an ex boss someone who has power and someone who try to block your life and you know you really have these sick people is as if uh, they can't really realize that they need to move on and these people are not going to vibrate in a three dimension because the shift of the energy on the heart is just going to throw them out of balance and it's you can see coming in you can really 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 see these energies coming in obviously um, you need to just move with ambition change your career find something else do something else and I know it is hard for a lot of people to change their career because you have built on something but whosoever this person is he's trying to block you and trying um, for you not to you know vibrate or move forward in anything and you do have these people and somehow it's as if they're psychic they're, they're mentally in a stable okay whenever you have people like this who you work with them and you're moving forward in your life you have left the company and they're still going at you these people are mentally in stable and they're not seeing that for themselves so on Friday just leave it because it's a situation that you have with someone who you used to work with before it could be a father figure who is just really really annoying and just leave this person it could be a relationship of someone with an older person that you were that you you had to deal with and uh, it is someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and trust me these people do exist and they're out there because they don't understand that there is that they're there they themselves are mentally instable so change your career do something else and move forward with, with your life 
on Saturday it's going to be a, a, a day where you need to find inner balance and your energy for the week is also balanced with a relationship so whatever is happening on Saturdays for you Aries you need to find balance with this situation and this 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 situation on Saturday it could be your husband who is this nasty person too because you Aries are nice you Aries are really hard-working and that sort of a thing and there could be someone who you're married to who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn it's not a really nice person this person is really mentally instable okay so you you are going to have to deal with the situation with whatever that is going on with this person you're married to this person is a karmatic situation this person is not really nice I would say to you be aware and be careful ask your spirit guide to protect you from this person because you can be married to the most nastiest person in the world and you don't see that because you love the person from out the the sense of love and this person is just really 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 horrible so be aware of this whatever is happening on Sunday it's going to be okay because you're going to be victorious and successful over this situation and I can tell you ask your spirit guides to protect you it's just a karmatic situation it's a carpentic situation that you have gotten yourself in and I will say to you um, ladies and gentlemen especially the latest whatever the situation that is happening with this person who is a Taurus Virgo and I'm feeling that is someone who is a Virgo um, that you're married to or you have a contract with or so because it's going to affect people in the, some people in the business life some people in the work life and this is going to affect some people in your private life this could be your father or this could be someone you're married to and I'm getting this that some people are married to this Virgo who's just been very nasty leave him alone walk away from it you are good enough to stand on your own you don't need this man he's a very ill person well okay so we have reached the end of your reading and as I look at your week you are looking for a new start a new beginning someone who is um, and who has the energy vibration of a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn is going to help you with this new beginning just ask her for help because she is going to help you whoever this person is in your life whoever this man is because a lot of you are going to be affected and this person is a Virgo Virgo people are a little bit in imbalance because they are between two worlds Virgo people are always in between worlds so you have to understand that you're a fire sign and this person is really an imbalanced situation that is happening for you at this time and this person but not to worry because on Sunday you're going to be very victorious and successful and I will say to you do not stay in a relationship because of you think of what people will think about it once somebody is treating you badly remove yourself out of the relationship because there's always someone better for you okay let's see what the energy you have the nine of hair so a lot of stuff is going on in your thoughts the energy of the nine of hair a lot of things are going on in your thoughts and what is happening if I haven't said any other sign this week is going to just affect the people who have to deal with the energy of um, the hurt sign people and this I'm feeling coming up for some people for a Virgo that you are married with a Virgo and this man is just being very very annoying you know that's why I really don't believe in marriages because sometimes you marry to people and then you see the side of them that you think oh my god am I going to live with this for the rest of my life so okay shift thin negative self-talk or self-compassion from fear to possibilities a call to fate so you need to have faith and release yourself of the fear and this Taurus person this Capricorn Virgo or Taurus person is going to come in to help you to shift your affairs with a gentle mild voice you tell yourself that you will be okay so I always do it I always just look at myself in the mirror and said you are going to be okay look at yourself in a mirror look in your eyes call out your name fully and tell yourself that you're going to be okay because you're going to be okay okay and that um, that will move all fear away from you and fall evident because fear is just false evidence appearing to be real okay um, 
you need to forgive yourself and those around you and know that you are a human trying to be and do the best you can and need only to call and spirit to remind you that you can and will do better as new possibilities begin to gather on the horizon okay so um, you know for you Aries I can really really understand and sometimes people think that I don't like the Aries but every sign has certain things about them the Aries man is just you know you you guys need to stop you guys need to really balance out yourself but for the Aries women I love you guys um, um, most of my cousins are Aries and I get along so much with them I want to say to you guys um, last energy that I need is the energy of the answers from the angels and let's look at this the answers from the angels let's look at this what is the answer to the Aries question not the right time so if you're planning on divorcing it's not the right time don't do this at this moment it's not the right time ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you thank you for being here thank you for being back and please like share these videos and um, I will speak to you next week. Namaste.